Hey y'all, hey. Don't be talking about my 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 side show Bob looking here right now, okay? I just got done washing and conditioning my hair before I go get it done later, all right? Anyways, so I'm letting it air dry. So I got I got my little mini Shaka Khan going on. Feel me. All right, anyways, so I want to talk to y'all about the female narcissist, right? Because, oh, this bitch is a slippery-ass bitch. She is. Ooh, I can. If I had a choice between a male narcissist and a female narcissist, I would choose the male narc any and every day, okay? Because the female narc is just a different breed of narc. She is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, granted, on a spiritual level, the Jezebel spirit, but it's something about when this spirit gets into a woman's body, man, oh, the the level, <laughs> the level of destruction that this chick causes, and this trickles down for generations, y'all, if this bitch had kids. Oh my God, you talking about destruction. Oh, oh my God. So let's go ahead and get further into this, right? So first off, let's talk about the aspect because a lot of men out here who, you know, have dealt with narcissistic women. Ooh, she did a number on you. And I'm so sorry that you even had to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? Because I know... As a child growing up, watching my mom's relationships, and she's a narcissist, um, she would always be like, you know, she just thinks she's smarter. She's never wrong. You can never teach her anything. You can never tell her anything. And if you do, then she wants to try to one-up you like she got a PhD. And like, let's say you try to teach her golfing. Because she went golfing one time, now she got a PhD in golfing. You feel me? They they have these are the women that basically, you know, definitely had a way with today's generation of how women are and how they think. It's a such it's such a sad mindset, but it's a reality. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was listening to this video. Where this teacher, she has, she teaches middle school students. And this little girl in middle school, I don't know, anywhere between 6th to 8th grade, was all like, oh, I don't want to get married. I guess the teacher asked a question and everybody wrote down the answer or whatever. And so this one girl, this little black girl, she was just like, I don't want to get married. I just want to have a baby and that's it. And the teacher was like, well, why don't you want to get married? She's like, if I get married, that means I can't collect a child support check. And then, and it was just like the mentality. But see, not everybody is mentally strong or spiritually strong enough to break curses and cycles. And that's just facts. So... I want to give a shout out to all the men and women out there breaking the curses in their bloodline because it is not easy. It's not. But anyways, so and then I see it. I, I, I see how it's trickling down as well from, I don't know, I can't really speak too much on my great grandmother or my grandmother because I was a kid. But nonetheless, from my mom to my brother, to my niece, down to her daughter, the cycle continues, you know? Um, and it's just like, wow. And so on my end of the spectrum, I stopped the curses, you know what I'm saying? And I just see it still trying to go on with my niece and the most I could do is guide her to, you know, the better path. That's all I could. That's all I could ever do. Is just help guide her. Cause my mom is trying to dig her claws into her if she hasn't managed to already. But just as I had to learn and see my mom for the narc that she is, my niece is gonna have to see that too. And you would think 
with all the time that my niece calls me up crying, complaining, stressing, um, my mama almost caused her to have a miscarriage because my mom found out that she was pregnant, told her to get an abortion. She was like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep my baby. So because my, my niece defied my mother, my mother decided to make it her business to try to stress my niece out to the point of damn near miscarriage and being hospitalized. And then my niece calls me up, tells me what's going on and this and this and that. And I told her, I said, stay away from your granny. Stay away from her. She is not good for you. Look, fellas, when you're dealing with a female narcissist, you need to be aware of how she moves. You really need to be aware of how she moves. And I hear it. I hear it from both sides. I hear, I hear the male. I mean, coming from me dealing with a uh, male narc, shoot, I already know what it is. You know, because we do deal with narcissists, male and female, within our families, societies at some freaking point, whether they're a neighbor, whether they're co-worker, family member, teacher, it doesn't matter who these people are. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I say that because I even have cousins of mine and we all describe the same things regarding uh, somebody in the family. Like, it's just that one person in the family that don't nobody mess with. Um, some uh, a, a distant relative out in Seattle just recently discovered that my mom is a coconut. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, I was just like, one, one for the team of God and zero for them. You know, because I don't, at the end of the day... While my mom was out there smearing my name. I mean, the female narc, man, she, ooh, that tongue, man. Like, you talking about a tongue lashing. See, men, men most of the times hold their mouth. They ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna, you know, use profanity and curse you out and tell you something. They just rather be silent, sit there and suffer in silence. You know, they rather walk off or something. And she's so, the female narc is so toxic. You know, like, let's say um, a guy and a female narc get into it. They arguing because she loves chaos and drama. So she's going to start an argument out of, of the blue. Why is this fork in the sink? What? I just use the fork to, like, eat something. And, you know, I already washed the dishes and blah, blah, blah. Right? Well, you need to wash it and da 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 da. Like, just they they start arguments over the pettiest things, the dumbest things, the smallest things that just don't make no sense. Y'all could both be outside looking at the sunset. Oh, that's a beautiful sunset. The orange blending in with the purple and the pink. And no, the sky is black. But because she said the sky is black, nigga, you need to see that the sky is black too. Which makes her fucking delusional. Crazy. You know? And then it's like, what else? Oh, and don't, man, the gaslighting from a female narc. The word salad from a female narc. Like, it is just on a totally different level than, um before hold on y'all hold on oh uh, uh. uh, sorry y'all up here hair on the table um so yeah with the female narc or whatever like uh verbal abuse is like her number one weapon it affects her children grandchildren Anybody she comes in contact with, she's going to verbally abuse. And you're going to hit a breaking point. And generally, right? And see, that's the thing. She tests boundaries. Oh, I could call him that little bitch ass nigga, little boy, poking you probably in your forehead, probably trying to get in your physical space. Like, like what's up? I'll beat your ass. Duh, 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 duh. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, 
I don't condone domestic violence now, but y'all heard about that story. Um, this was some years back. I think it happened in Ohio. It was some years back where there was a, it was a male bus driver. He was a black dude or whatever. He's driving a bus and then this, I guess, yeah, she was a black woman. She up there, you know, smacking the man in the head, hitting him. She spit at him. She's provoking him verbally and all this shit, right? While he's driving the public bus, this man pulled that mug over and bus drive uppercutted her shit. He pulled over and just wham, just like drove a fist in her shit. So guess what? You wanted to act like a man. He treated you like a man and uppercutted your shit. Now you want to run to the news playing the victim. I didn't do nothing. He just, he just hauled off and, and just knocked the shit out of me. Call 911. Help me. And see, that's the shit that they be doing. They'll start some shit. But then when shit get real, because he about to probably knock your ass out. Now it's like, oh shit, 911, domestic violence and this and this and that. Now granted, a dude shouldn't be putting his hands on a woman. But this bitch, the narcissistic woman, oh my God, that bitch needs all hands laid on her because multiple people have already threatened to kill the bitch, okay? Multiple people have threatened to kill my mama, including me. That's how you know you up there just pressing people's buttons. You just provoke, you want to provoke a response out of people. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you how the female narc moves, right? So there was a cousin of mine. He just got done with a case on his head or whatever. Um, So he was on probation. My mom calls him up, baiting him, you know, saying, saying shit to, to get an emotional reaction from him. And so... It was recorded that, bitch, I'll kill your ass. While you over here talking games, I'll beat your ass and da-da-da. Like, my cousin went in on my mama. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid at the time, and I didn't even know about this shit until way later. But, you know, it's crazy because, you know, my mama was baiting him to say some shit. She got, like, because she, she wanted him to do more jail time. She wanted to take his life or, you know, destroy it even further. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, okay. You doing that? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to send your ass back to prison, bitch. Or back to jail or whatever. So I'm going I'm to provoke and bait you into saying some shit to me. Now I'm going to run to your PO, play this tape recorder of our conversation. But see, she got busted. Because the P.O. wasn't done. The P.O. is like, you don't hear my mother and what she's saying. All you hear is my cousin responding back to her. Bitch, it ain't a monologue. My cousin ain't talking to himself. He's talking to you and responding back to the shit that's coming out your mouth. So her little plan to try to bait him and bait the probation officer and all that. The probation officer did tell my cousin, warned him, like, look, you can't be threatening your auntie. You know what I'm saying? Um, Don't do that because all she's trying to do is bait you and get you caught up. So you need to go and take a chill pill. Just I would advise you to stay away from her. Right. And see, that's the thing. These female narcs. They hate other women because other women are threats. Because if a man has one good woman around him, uh, be it a niece, whatever, however this relationship with this woman is with this man, that female narc, she's going to attempt to destroy it because she sees other women as a threat. Oh, you, you, you think you better than somebody. Uh, and this other woman is just sim simply, you know what I'm saying? Like the dude could just have a, have a female friend. They just been cool since, I don't know, elementary, for example, right? He didn't introduce y'all this and that, trying to be honest, putting it in her face. Like these are the women in my life. These connections mean something to me. This bitch is going to attempt, if not manage to isolate these, this man from them women. 
You know, like, I don't know if y'all been following the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case and all of that, but Amber Heard, she is a fucking narcissist. Or at the very least, she's damn sure toxic. You know what I'm saying? How you, how you on the stand one minute? Like, first off, you ain't even crying tears. You just... <sighs> trying so hard to get a tear to come down because deep down inside, you know that you did those things to Johnny. You know what I'm saying? Attempting to set him up and bait him. See, look y'all, Amber Heard, Jada Pinkett Smith, these are examples of narcissistic women that tear down men. Cause again, this is about the female narc. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, her main objective is to destroy men. She she will try to destroy women too, but she don't fuck with men, women anyway. So being that she don't deal with women or other women, she ain't really focused on that. Now, in the other aspect where the female narc will try to tear down women is if she didn't have a son. And this son brings home decent women. You know, this woman... Because she has no morals, no standards, no conscience. And she just, you know, more than likely she didn't raise her son up around, you know, toxicity. She a weak ass bitch who is a side chick. I know my mama was a side chick. So, yeah, that definitely makes you a weak ass bitch. You know, you, whether you found out and you kept dealing with my daddy who was a serial cheater any fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was cheating on his wife. They weren't even married, but when I think when I was like two, three, they got married. So they were married, but y'all was still fucking around. You at that point are held accountable for your decisions. And she over there trying to teach me, don't deal with no married man. First off, that's common fucking sense. You ain't even have to tell me that shit. You sound stupid anyway. You know what I'm saying? Let me find out a dude is that is in a whole nother relationship. You cut the fuck off. Period. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts because why do you need to lie? If you got to lie, you rocking with the ops. I don't want no liar around me. I don't want no slick, manipulator, pathological, and habitual liar around me. And that's what these women are. You know what I'm saying? My mom would always call me. Well, she would, it was, she was a projection. I didn't really understand that it was project, projection at the time. But she was pitting me. And my brother against each other. Oh, don't trust him because he's a habitual and a pathological liar. Don't be projecting you being a pathological and habitual liar onto my brother. Yeah, I don't fuck with him because he's a whole pedophile and shit. But he's a pedophile and he's all fucked up in the head because of you. These women don't need to be procreating. Because whether they have a son or a daughter, they are fucking these kids up. Trust and believe. And now these new people are going into the world on and on and on until somebody decides to break the cycle. My mom, you ain't nothing like me. You ain't. So what were you trying to do? Groom me to be a baby narc? A fucking female narc like you, bitch? Nah, my soul ain't set up that way. I'm a whole apple tree and you an orange tree and your oranges are just rolling downhill far from you. Like... People down at the bottom of the hill is like, where the fuck are these oranges coming from? There ain't no orange tree around this motherfucker. Because your fruit is falling and rolling far from your ass. Like, the hell? You know? It ain't my fault that you dealing with roaches, rats. But I'm talking. Don't interrupt. Ah, don't interrupt me. You're rude. Because um, <laughs> you got food. Don't interrupt me. Um, he is already enough that Negan and woke me up because he was hungry, so I came in here to feed his little fat tail. Now, so I plus I had to wash my hair and stuff anyway. Anyway, so this female narc, y'all, she she ain't nothing to play with, particularly when she's in her youth and she's the most beautiful, you know, because. She got her charisma and she's like, huh, I could, I'm going to throw this fishing hook out there. Somebody going to take the bait. Oh, 
I got me somebody because they don't care who it is. They don't care the quality of person that you are. They don't, I mean, they do because I take that back. They do care about the quality because as long as you are in, or as long as you enable their behavior, they want you around. But people who don't condone their behavior, call them out on their bullshit, put them in their place and address situations, they don't like those kinds of people. So they be like, nah, I don't deal with this person. Nah, I don't want to be around that person. Oh, I don't like her. You know, I don't like him. Whole time, they the problem. They love playing the victim, y'all. These female narcs love playing the victim and they can be overt or covert. And if you don't know what that means, overt just simply means just out there, just full of projection. You know, you can catch them in lies easily. You know, they just out there, you know, very loud and proud. But then you have the covert who's real quiet, subtle. You know what I'm saying? They push and trigger people in ways that they get other people to think that that person is crazy because they didn't say a trigger word because they groom you slowly, whether you realize it or not, because they're trying to write on your sub your subconscious mind. You know what I'm saying? They'll sit there and, and you know, discourage you on the low. They, they say it in a subtle way, but nonetheless, they plant seeds in your mind. And then when the seeds begin to take root and start to grow, now you doubting yourself. And now it's like, dang, what happened to my self-esteem? What happened to my confidence? This is how these women beat down and batter these men. Johnny Depp suffered in silence for a while. He tried to come out and talk about it a couple times, but society that we live in you know what i'm saying laugh at men you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong like will smith you know uh him his tears when jada got up on her red table talk basically talking about i was in an entanglement he was like a relationship yeah he had to make her say that it was a relationship she up there trying to dismiss the affair and you know uh downplay the infidelity it was an entanglement what the fuck is an entanglement even august alcina made his song a definition of entanglement you know what i'm saying come on what the fuck is an in see that's that word salad shit y'all she out here doing bald-headed whole shit i used to like jada but i don't jada has said too much shit that shows me that even if she's not a narcissist, she's narcissistic and toxic as fuck. To the point that her own son, Jaden, at what, 15, 16, felt the need to get the fuck out the house and get away from her. Children know when they need to get the fuck on. And if a child knows at a teenage stage that shit, I gotta move out. I can't keep living here. That's because there is nothing but drama, chaos. You know, that you can sit there and be like, you got a problem with me? No, I don't got no problem. But you feel the energy that there's tension, that there, you know, you can feel it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody could say something to you, right? And if you have the feeling that this motherfucker throwing shade, they throwing shade at me? Yeah, because they being shady. If you feel like that, that's exactly what that motherfucker is doing. Otherwise, you would not feel that way. Trust what you feel because that's your intuition telling you and guiding you that, hey, like, like sending out an alarm. Like, hey, hey, stop. Get away from this motherfucker. Run. Run for the hills. Get away from this person. And let me tell you, these narcissistic women, they're very codependent. They're clingy. These are the women that like a man up under them, want to babysit their man. Oh, no, you ain't at work. You out there cheating with that other bitch. See, that's an accusation. Because while you at work, working hard, fellas, she out there getting dick somewhere else. In your house, in your bed. 
bold as hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all the stories that people tell me. I can't make this stuff up. And again, I knew that dealing with narcissistic men, you know what I'm saying, me dealing with my mom, I, I shut that shit down. Like, all I got to do is see remotely one red flag, closed case. Case closed, chapter closed. Matter of fact, I ain't even writing the rest of this chapter. We just turning the page and starting a whole new chapter. Okay? We, we going to leave that chapter alone. We going to leave that sentence alone. You know what I'm saying? We don't even need to finish the sentence. We don't need to complete the paragraph. Just turn the page. Move on. But, you know, this is also why, because I want to talk about like Jada and Will or whatever. And I'm just using them as an example. Um, I mean, it's just, how, how did, I just don't understand. She claims that her and Will been married 25 some years, right? How have you been married to somebody for so long and they're still a stranger to you? You don't know, for example, you don't know his favorite color, his favorite food. You don't know his favorite hobby. You don't know nothing other than his name is Will Smith and he's making these millions and taking care of your ass. Because Will Smith's name is bigger than Jada's. Why, why else would you? And then, you know, I felt like it was kind of a downplay when she like hyphenated her name. I remember like, I get, it's just a whole bunch. She hyphenated her name, Pinkett Smith. And I was like, why would she hyphenate her name? Why didn't she just, in my mind, this is was just what I was thinking, you know, when it went from just Jada Pinkett to Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada later comes out and reveals she didn't want to get married. Will got her pregnant. Will wanted to do things the right way, make wife her up and, you know, all of this, right? Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people probably want to say more to the story or whatever that there's been people that said, oh, he cheated on his first wife and blah, blah, blah. Look, I ain't talking about none of it. I'm talking about what's going on between Will and Jada because they've been rocking together for the last shit all my life damn near. You know, because when I was born, he was on Fresh Prince of uh, Bel-Air. You know, he came out with his music, you know, just the two of us when it was him and his first son. You know, um, a lot of these, uh, you know, like Jada, she just came out and she talked about a lot. Right. But she exposed so much without even see. That's what these toxic people do. They expose themselves and they tell on themselves and it's not until later they catch it. But the most they could do is hope that you ain't paying attention. That's all they can hope for. Ah, uh, I said this. I said that I'm a cheater because I've cheated on every other person that I've been with. I hope they're, I, I hope they fall and think that I've changed. I hope that they think that they're just so special that they've changed me because I'm going to cheat on them too. That's just who they are. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Jada, she came out and she, she said some disturbing things in my opinion. Um, she came out and she was like, at the age of nine, um, her grandmother taught her how to masturbate and pleasure herself. That's inappropriate, y'all. There is no reason for a child, because that's a child, to be masturbating. You know what I'm saying? It was inappropriate that as a kid, my mom did the same shit with me. You know, wanting to show me her old ass beef pussy. Ugh. Nobody wants to see your beef curtains, bitch. You know, I'm nine years old. Well, yeah, this is how a man plays with your clit. I had no idea what the fuck this bitch was talking about. Because I, I'm in a stage of a child. I speak like a child. I am a child. I'm doing what children do. And as I grow and transition into the preteen stage and then the teen stage and then into my adult years, you know what I'm saying? We're growing. We're not growing just physically, but we're growing mentally and emotionally and spiritually, or at least we should be. 
We should be, but everybody gets their narcissistic toxic people get stunted mentally and emotionally, and they definitely become spiritually dead. You know what I'm saying? So their body grows, but they died and they stopped. They were arrested in all these other areas. But um, yeah, it's very inappropriate to be sure. I mean, okay, so y'all let me know down in the comments which is appropriate. It's okay for a mother to be showing her because this is just my logic behind it. If I'm nine years old and you showing me your old ass pussy that I popped out of, well, you came from my pussy, bitch. I was a baby. I'm nine years old. It ain't no reason for me to be looking at your pussy lips. For what? That's gross. You don't even get wet these days. You get moist like a fucking cake, bitch. Anyways, like, it's just sickening just thinking about how sick she is. Because if you could do that to me when I was nine, what did you do to my brother? You know what I'm saying? Did you, did you Antoine Fisher him? Y'all seen that movie? If you haven't, go watch it. Grown ass woman sitting up here fucking a little kid and this little kid don't know what's going on. He's running, trying to figure out what the, he, he scared, you know, sick shit. I don't put it past her narcissistic ass if, if she did fuck my brother. That's nasty and that's incest, yes. But do you think she, you think, you know, they care? Do you think a narcissistic parent cares about fucking their child? No, because the child is not a child. The child is an object. You belong to me, mind, body, and soul. Every aspect of you belongs to them for life. So the only way that you could probably ever really escape is when somebody dies, either you or them, and hopefully it's just them, you know? Hopefully it's just them. Because they ain't going to change. They not going to repent. They not going to uh, apologize and mean it. They lie to themselves. So what makes you think they not going to lie to you? These female narcs is a trip. They're sick. They, I don't, I, in my opinion, the female narc is sicker and worser than the male narc. Because she does shit that if a, if a female narcissist and a male narcissist get together, she is going to, oh, you, man, you talking about them going back and forth. It is an interesting dynamic to see two narcissists together. It's a very interesting dynamic. But y'all deserve each other. Because leave the rest of us regular people, normal, functioning, healthy people that are in the process of healing or who are already healed alone. But see, the devil's agents ain't going to let you be alone. And this is why. Because like men, the female narc, she will use sex to get your ass, to trap you. She, y'all, y'all know, uh, it was, a, it was something going on. It was like the trend on, uh, social media. Uh, what was it called? Soul snatching. Oh, I'm gonna snatch your soul. I'm gonna suck your dick so good. I'm gonna snatch your soul. And, and, and then you got me and out here, man, she, 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 she took my soul. You let this bitch take your soul through your dick. You that weak. Come on now, fellas. Come on now. Come on. Seriously? I mean, okay, she might have sucked your dick pretty good to where you like shit, but she got you where she wants you. Trapped. Then you turn around and knock her up, get her pregnant. Now she's going to devalue you, treat you like you ain't shit. That she, she about to do whatever she want. She got you now for life. Because now you got to go through court because she's going to use that child as a pawn against you because that baby is, the baby's innocent. But she's going to use that baby as a pawn, put you on child support. She's going to do everything she can to tear you down, brother. 
And you got to be smart and wise enough to know. Now, don't get it twisted. Go to court. Do your thing. Go through the motions. Because after all, you chose that life. When you busted that nut in her, be careful who you bust your nut in. And ladies, be careful who you let come in you. You know? So, all, all I'm saying is, hey, you can get more than STDs out here, y'all. You can get spiritual demons. Okay? You know, you wondering why you suddenly are just like you went from this happy, cheery, you know, happy go lucky type energy person down to just, you know, you're angry, you're bitter, your resentment, you're stressed, you got a lot of anxiety, you know, you feel insecure because she didn't cheat and lied and did all types of stuff behind your back. Boy, the stories I hear. There's a man, sweet, sweet guy, sweet guy. But one day he was just, he just randomly wanted to talk to me. So he was just talking to me and he got to telling me, yeah, you know, I've been married for X amount of years, you know, and, um, you know, I, 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 I like living a happy, sweet man, sweet, you know, and how are you? I just, I, I think it's just codependency and the familiarity because ain't no way in hell I'm going to be married and my spouse is going to be having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Okay. In his situation, you know, his wife has a boyfriend. I, I, I just let her do what she want to do. And, you know, you let her do what she want to do. Excuse me. So what you're saying is, in other words, Y'all must have had a conversation and on some Will and Jada Smith energy type shit. You know, she has allowed you, sir, to do what you want to do, but you choose to be loyal to her. Meanwhile, y'all had this conversation of an open relationship or whatever, so she can go do what she want to do. Because remember, we're talking about the female narcissist right now. You know, she finds a way to keep uh, you on a stream, you know. Uh, she uses money, you know. Well, I'll pay for this. I'll do this. I'll do that. Money is nothing to these demonic entities because they don't give a fuck about the money, okay? They don't. So I might have to make more than one episode about the female narc because it's just so much that goes into it and i'm already at like 40 minutes but for real though the female narc man look i'm gonna make a part two to it though anyways y'all like share subscribe um comment down below let me know what your experiences is because men i don't know why y'all suffer in silence i mean we live in a jacked up society that makes it feel like men can't express their emotions and i see why too because look at how will Will was clearly upset, crying, hurt on the red table talk, talking about, because I can only imagine him replaying in his mind her infidelity, you know, regardless of whether he gave permission or not, or whatever the fuck is quote unquote said, you know what I'm saying? Just looking from the outside in, you know, shoot, Jada didn't look hurt about it. She was just like, well, you know, I was trying to find myself and, you know, it was healing. Bitch, what? Infidelity? You were still married. But granted, before August Alcina, you know, dealt with Jada, he should have ensured that divorce papers were signed and that they were 100% done. But... He got caught up and gave his all to this woman and got heartbroken in the process. She don't give a fuck about his heart. She didn't give a fuck. All she saw was a predatory moment to prey on someone that was going through a tough time. And I'm mentoring. Mentoring? You getting dicked down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, go listen to August Alcina's song, Entanglement. He's, is is August's uh, side of the story. There's Will's side of the story. And then there's Jada's. You then got two men involved with you and you are married. That's still infidelity. 
regardless of y'all being separated apart because what turned what what happened y'all got back together didn't you y'all still live together don't you and supposedly there's rumors that jada's pregnant i don't know how true that is it's just rumors i don't get caught up in rumors and you know stuff like that i'm just speaking on what i saw and what I heard from all different, you know, sides regarding the whole situation, because August Alcina decided to blow the whistle, call their asses out. I don't know if that was a power play on his behalf to sell albums, you know, or if it was just a cover up story that Jada and her team put together to try to mask the infidelity and all. I, who, who fucking really truly knows? But anyways. Um, more on the female narc coming up because for real, y'all, y'all need to understand how she moves and how she operates. So anyways, I'm probably about to take me a nap before I gotta go get my hair done. But anyways, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me about the narc in your life, what she or he has done, because I promise you, they got hive minds. They do the same stuff. They play out the same playbook, but they happen in different people's lives with different faces, different body shapes, different backgrounds, ethnicities, jobs. It doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. Anyways, peace out, y'all.